Yes, welcome back, videos. If you have a ZCAD camera, I have the E2 and the E2C, so I can vouch for those two, but I think it works for all the different ZCAD cameras. If you have an Ethernet cable and three pieces of software, you can stream live without a capture card after this. Yes, I was able to stream live without a capture card, um, like most of you guys, because of the coronavirus and a widespread of things, the social distancing and those types of things. So I was trying to stream and figure out how to use my A7 III to stream online, but I found that my E2 does it just as well without a capture card. And all the capture cards that I was trying to get, like the Cam Link and all these other things, they were all sold out at the time when I was trying to grab one. So I found that the ZidCam actually can stream on online, all I need is my ZidChem camera, a laptop, an ethernet cable, and three pieces of software, and I can make it happen. So I wanna note right here that I'm not a professional at this by any means, I just wanna help you get the same process that I was able to find out. And so if it'll help you, great. This is VidHeads. This is the place where iron sharpens iron when we all taking our skill to the next level. If you're all right with that, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell because I got a lot of different content coming at you. Yes, let's get right into it. So first of all, plug your ethernet cable into your ZCam camera and into the back of your laptop or, or computer desktop. And here we go. We're gonna first go to Google. We're gonna put in OBS Studio download. And that's the first one. Download OBS Studio. And here's the download installer right here. So OBS Studio 25. Waiting for it to finish downloading. It's done now. So now all you have to do is I'm using Windows, so um, this is basically going from a Windows standpoint. So you click the um, .exe file, and you can install it. I already installed it, so um, I'm not going to um, go any further than that. The second piece of software is the Zcam Stream Converter. The link will also be in the description. So basically, all you do is hit the download button. And normally, most of their software is on uh, like a Google Drive. So you just hit the download arrow up in the top right corner. Just hit download anyway. And it'll start downloading for you. Now, the Zcam Stream Converter, you do not install it. You just unzip it. And what I did was I just put the folder on my desktop because you just um, activate the exe file inside the folder and the program starts all right so the third piece of software is the ndi plugin so I'll go to google and do a search So we arrive to the page and basically all you do is go to the download button, click on the download button, it'll bring you to this page. And so basically you just scroll down and then you just download the version for your machine. Again, I'm using Windows. I would download the Windows file. And there it is. It's done. Downloading. I click it. And basically, you just install this file. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go any further. Okay, first of all, looking at our Zcam settings, let's take a look. You want to go and uh, do 1920 by 1080 if you're trying to stream. Uh, that's the best resolution. I do 24 frames per second. Then let us go down to image. You want to make sure um, when you're in image, you want to make sure that you're not in Z log or anything like that. You want your imagery to look natural. So I recommend Rec 709. Now we're going to go into connections, go to network, 
in a network, you want to make sure you turn your Wi-Fi off. Well, that's what I did. I turned my Wi-Fi off. And then we go down to Ethernet mode, ETH mode. I changed that to direct instead of router. And then pay attention to your Ethernet IP address. The 10.98.32.1 because you're going to need that to plug into your Zcam stream converter software. Okay, go ahead and open up Zcam stream converter. And in the lower left, start typing in your IP address for your Ethernet. We mentioned it earlier when we were in the Zcam settings. It is 10.98.32.1. If you put the right address in, the IP address will show up right here at the top left. But this box will come up when you have the wrong IP address or if it cannot find it. So in this case, I put 96 and I'm supposed to have 98. So it's supposed to be 1098, not 96. So I'm going to change that real quick. And so now I'm going to add and boom, it pops right up. Check the box and you'll see that you'll have controls over the actual Zcam camera. And so all the different controls you can actually manipulate right here, but we've already done uh, the setting adjustments in camera. So we don't have anything here to do. So only thing left now is to minimize this. Now we're gonna open up our OBS Studio 25. On the left is the preview screen, on the right is the program screen. That's what's actually going out. I just know how to set it up to get streaming. So if you're looking for a lot of information on OBS Studio, I'm not the guy for that. I just know how to get it set up for my Zcam where I don't need a, a capture card. Down in the lower left, you'll see scene. Right next to scenes in the sources box, you want to right click and then you're going to hit add. Then you can go down to NDI. Remember the NDI plugin that we installed? Well, here's where we're going to use that. You're going to click create at the top. And then you're going to go to the um, stream Zcam stream converter in the down arrow. And then you just bring it in. So now under sources, you have your Zcam. So now it's in your preview window. Let's just say you wanted to bring in your, your intro. You go up to add and then you go to media source. Create, add, and then you just find the file. Bring it in. And that's under sources as well. Now, let's say if you want to do a, a lower third. You add and you go down to text. Well, this is why I'm naming the text here. Okay, we're going to do Hello VidHits. I'm going to create my font. I'm going to get my font here. Okay, I'm going to go down and I'm going to put my stroke. They call it outline. I know I'm going to do blue. And it's going to increase the stroke here to where I like it. Then you bring it down in the window. You can scale it by grabbing the corners. And I this is where I don't know a lot about OBS Studio. So that's why I just bring it underneath the preview window where it can't be seen. Okay, so now this is the T bar. That T bar is what brings your preview over into your program. Your program is what you're sending out to the stream. And if you want to put your lower third up there, right? And you hit the T bar, then now it's going out to the stream. So again, I don't know a lot about this. I know you're supposed to hit cut and all those types of things, but I'm again, I'm not too versed with it. So now I'm just showing you guys that I'm actually live streaming here. I'm going to bring the queen in. I'm going to 
stage a checkmate. Or figure out what I want to do with these pieces. <laughs> All right, so now, now that I have a checkmate here, and I say I wanted to bring in a title, I'll add, I'll go down to text, then I will name it checkmate. Then I'll put it in the, the text here. Let me get my font that I like. Okay, go down. Let's get my my outline or my stroke and my color. Increase my stroke. All right. So I bring the hello viz underneath. Again, I don't know how to any other way to do it. And I'll scale my checkmate up a little bit. So I clear my text off of the program window and I bring my checkmate up, hit the T bar over and checkmate. Yes, I hope this helps you because it helped me in the process of trying to find out how to stream online while we practice our social distancing. And man, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it with somebody else who can actually use that information. As always, I'm Aaron Jones, your big brother, and I got your back. Make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you go out and you film something and kill it. <laughs>